Hey everybody, welcome back. It's John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC and here we are in my little 3D scanning cubby hole. I wanted to pick an area of my house that did not have a very noisy background. We're gonna get the Einstar Shining 3D scanner completely set up. So that means we're gonna get our cables connected, we're gonna get the software onto our laptop, we'll get the device activated, calibrated, and then we're finally ready to use it. So let's get it. All right, let's start by checking out that scanner. And I did a complete unboxing video on the Einstar Shining 3D scanner. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to that video. Very, very beautiful piece of equipment. Very excited to use it. We're gonna start here. We're gonna get the cable out and I'm not destroying these boxes because these boxes just fit so well in the carrying case. And this is the one that says cable on it. You see that there? And that is our cable. And then you can see down in there, that's where we're gonna be plugging into our cable with our blue end right there. Pull the blue end back. There, that little red dot is gonna be facing up. And then inside there, there are the grooves that you can see. And then it just slides right in there and then boom it's in good to go and just while we're here looking at this uh it is worth mentioning pinch on the metal when you want to pull this out don't pinch on the rubber grab the metal to pull it out and on our cable there's almost like a little flask looking thing with its own topper so that is where our adapter is going to go in for our power cord so let's get our adapter out here right there you can see boom that's our adapter that's what it looks like right there and that's our end that's going to go into our little topper go there is where we're gonna put our power cord we got our little power cord here and then you can see how that end matches up very nicely with our end that's going to go right in there good to go and then unplug this in all of our plugs have found their ports except our usb plug here so we'll get it plugged into the laptop and then we'll download our software and then we'll activate our einstar shining 3d scanner and i know i said i was going to be doing this on a laptop but that is not going to happen these einstar shining 3d scanners are not compatible with mac products at all i have the newest macbook air m2 and it is not going to work mostly because the xstar program that's available on einstar for these scanners is only available in an exe download Max cannot open an EXE download. You can try Wine Bottler, you can try Bootcamp, and you can try Parallels. I tried all three of them. It is not going to work. XStar is a very complex program. I have the specifications listed right here. Check these specifications out. You're going to need some type of computer that has this going on. This is really important. If you can find a gaming laptop that has these specifications, awesome. Luckily for me, I have a friend that had a gaming PC that was the exact thing that I needed. Crazy. And he just brought it right over for me and let me use. Thank you so much, Dante. All right, so we're on einstar.com and all we have to do is download XStar, which is found under support, software download, and then you'll see the latest version is the 6.0. And we're gonna scroll down to where it says, see the comparison between the 5.0 and the 6.0? Click to download. Alrighty, I had to take my hat off for this one here. As soon as you get XStar downloaded, it's gonna prompt your registration, it's gonna prompt your activation. Get both of those done. They're the easiest things you can do in this entire process. Uh, you're just verifying a phone number or email address, and then it should just bring up XStar automatically and go straight into calibration. If it doesn't go into calibration, you do need to select it. It is right next to where it says device INSTAR directly to the right. It'll say calibration. Click on it. It's gonna wanna calibrate the dotted side and the white side. So I have to get my little sticker off there. You have five steps for each side. Let's go ahead and do that now and keep moving. And before each scan, we are clicking that middle button right there. So click that middle button, it gets it going there. White balance is successful. White balance is a lot easier than the dotted. And as far as setup goes, that's pretty much it. As long as you have XTAR downloaded, all your cables connected, the shining is registered and then calibrated, you're pretty much good to go. My personal thoughts so far on the Heinstar Shining 3D scanner, this has been a nightmare. This has been a very difficult, unwanted process. I think we're gonna get some really, really great scans from this, but getting to the scans is proving almost impossible. Nowhere on Amazon, was it listed that this is not compatible with a MacBook. So I spent a ton of time hours yesterday trying to work with Wine Bottler, trying to work with Bootcamp. I almost spent $120 on Parallels to try to get this to work with my MacBook. Luckily for me, UMAX is the company that sold me this on Amazon. They reached back out to me and said, hey, this is not compatible with a MacBook at all. You are more than welcome to return this. So I thought that was great. Even though they falsely advertised a young girl scanning a pineapple with a MacBook, at least they reached back out to me. Einstar is not going to reach back out to you at all. I submitted a ticket. Amazon itself submitted a ticket. If you call Einstar's America's phone number, it is completely disconnected. So any type of customer support that you think you might get with this scanner, it is non-existent. It is nothing. But regardless of a very difficult day yesterday and a lot of time lost, uh, we're finally ready to do our scans. And that's what next episode is going to be all about. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to finally dig in and see what this is going to do for us here. This is John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. I'll see you next time.